In this video, we will learn how to interpret odd ratios in logistic regression. Well, before that, let's learn what do we uh, mean by odd. Let's say that uh, the uh, probability of success of an event is 0.6. So, what is the probability of failure? So, it's 1 minus 0.6 or 1 minus probability of success which is equal to 0.4 so we define odds of success equal to the probability of success by probability of failure 0.6 by 0.4 equal to 1.5 so what is the probability of uh, or the odds of failure Odds of failure equal to the probability of failure divided by the probability of success. So it's the reciprocal of odds of success. 0.4 by 0.6 equal to 0.67. So that's how we define the odds of success and odds of failure. What I have done here is that for each probability ranging from 0.1 to 0.9, I have calculated what is the odds of success. And you can see in the graph, it's increasing in nature. So it's monotonous in nature. As the probability, you know, goes up, uh, it, it, it also goes up, right? It ranges from 0 to the uh, positive uh, plus infinity. Then let's learn what is log odds. Well, log odds is nothing but the logarithm of odds. If p is the probability of success and 1 minus p is the probability of failure, then we define log odds as log of p by 1 minus p as you can see on the screen like odds log odds also follow the monotonicity that is with increase in probability the log odd values also increases the log odds ranges from minus infinity to the plus infinity you can see on the screen, I have probability values ranging from 0.1 to 0.9 and the corresponding odds and log odds. Okay. What is the importance of log odds with regards to logistic regression? Well, it's very important. Why don't we just model for the probability directly? Why do we uh, model the log of the probability well as you know probability ranges from 0 to 1 so it's a bounded value so the upper bound is 1 and the lower bound is 0 it's very difficult to model such a variable which has an upper bound and lower bound bounded variables are not very suitable uh, for modeling uh, especially if the variable is a dependent variable Hence, we take the log logarithmic transformation of the odd and then model. So, it, it serves two purposes. One of the uh, good thing uh, for us is that the log odd is not bounded. It ranges from negative infinity, minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay. And then... It's, it's a very simple transformation. It can be uh, explained very easily. So these are the two reasons why we actually model log odds instead of the actual probability value in logistic regression. Well, to explain uh, how to interpret the odds ratio I have taken a very simple example here uh, 
well this is directly a model coming from one of my data set wherein the uh, dependent variable is admit uh, whether a student is admitted to a graduate school or not okay so if a student is admitted the uh, dependent variable takes 1 else it takes 0 so it's a binary variable I have used logistic regression to model this variable I have got one independent variable which is GRE score okay my model looks like this log of admitted by not admitted just like P by 1 minus P right is equal to minus 2.9 which is the intercept plus 0 0.00358 GRE score so 0 0.00358 is my slope coefficient for GRE score you can see that in the analysis of maximum likelihood estimate um, you know this is this is directly taken from the uh, SAS output you can also see the uh, the odds ratio estimates for the independent variable it's 1.004 so we are curious to know how odd ratio is interpreted and how is it related to the uh, maximum likelihood estimates okay so before I you know uh, talk about the mathematical explanation let me let me tell you that odd ratio is nothing but the exponential of the maximum likelihood estimate but how do we know that that it's the exponential of maximum likelihood estimate okay we will see why is that so let's assume that a student has a GRE score equal to 300 so what is the log or that that particular student will get admitted to the graduate school well put 300 in place of in place of the variable GRE and calculate the log or minus 2.9 plus 0 0.00358 into 300 let's say that the GRE score increased by one unit now the GRE score is 301 so what is the log use the same equation same uh, you know logistic regression equation in place of uh, 300 you just put 301 this time okay so what is the difference between the log odds when the GRE score increases by one unit well you just uh, you know subtract one from the other we will subtract the second equation from the first and it, it can be done very easily so what is the difference the difference in the log odds is nothing but 0 0.00358 so is this number familiar yes it is so what is 0 0.00358 this number is nothing but the slope coefficient of GRE okay if you go back and see what is the slope coefficient or what is the estimate for GRE it's the same number 0 0.00358 so we could, we could see that when there is a unit change in the independent variable the corresponding change in the log word is nothing but the estimate of that particular independent variable all right so what has it to do with log word okay let's see. Well, we see that uh, we, we saw that how to uh, you know um, how to interpret the log odds, right? So log odds is nothing but uh, you know the change in log odds is nothing but the uh, estimate itself. Let's transform this in terms of odds. 
in terms of odds we just need to take the exponential of that you know that uh, the, uh, the reverse transformation of logarithm is nothing but the exponential if you take the exponential of the difference of logger okay you can see on the screen you just have to take the exponential of 0 0.00358 okay because that is the difference between the logger which comes out to be 1.004 okay so what is 1.004 let's go back and check if this figure is you know this figure or this number appears in in our output okay it, let, let's see in the uh, output where it appears well 1.004 is nothing but the odd ratio estimate of GRE right so um, it's the exponential of the change in the odd ratio okay so a odd ratio okay sorry sorry um, it's the exponential of the change in the logarithms okay so odd ratio is nothing but the uh, exponential of the change in or the difference in in the um, logarithms so how do we interpret it how do we interpret the uh, odd ratio well an increase in one unit in the GRE score increases the odd of getting admission in the graduate school by 0.4 percent where does this 0.44 come from well you can see 1.004 okay so the extra value you know after the one is what is adding uh, you know is is added to the uh, you know chances of getting uh, admitted to the to the uh, graduate school so whatever is there after this point uh, you know this point uh, and you know take it take just one uh, away from it like 1.004 is there subtract one from there so uh, what remains is 0 0.004 had it been 2.004 just uh, subtract one it, it remains uh, 1.004 right so and change it to percentage change it to in terms of percentage okay so 0 0.004 in percentage terms it's 0.4 percent so an increase in one unit in the GRE score increases the odds of getting admission in the graduate school by 0.4 percent so that's how we interpret the odd ratio in a logistic regression